What's up, Scrollgers? It's Nerp here, and long time no see. I just haven't had the drive to play Scrolls much recently, hence the lack of videos on my channel. Uh, I'm sure my Scrolls spirit will be revived soon enough, um, but for now, don't expect more than a few videos a week, maybe even less, I'm not sure. I'll definitely be uh, back in full force, hopefully, for set 7. And today's video focuses on set 7 because uh, 12 new scrolls were added to the test server, which you can play with and test out. I believe the test server is open to everyone. Um, this is the second batch of 12 scrolls on the test server. Uh, the first one I overviewed, the first batch of 12 I overviewed a couple weeks ago. There'll be a link somewhere in the description or on the screen to go to that if you want to check that out. Uh, so, and most of these are completely new scrolls. Uh, a few of them, like Scout, Earthboom, maybe some others, uh, were revealed on uh, scrolls.com before. So make sure you just follow all of like uh, Atmaz's blog posts on scrolls.com. You get a lot of spoilers, some cool contests with the new scrolls for like flavor text and stuff. So that's where you can find like new info. But these these twelve are officially on the test server. And uh, yeah, so let's go over them. So first we have Earth Boon, which we have already seen in the past. Uh, it's a two cost growth enchantment, and enchanted unit gets plus one attack for each lingering spell in play. Whenever a lingering spell is played, enchanted unit's countdown is decreased by one. Uh, eh, I don't think it seems that good. I mean, growth has so many like ways to increase attack. I'm not sure a two cost enchantment that it would only want one unit is that useful, especially considering, I mean, how many lingering spells are you actually going to have in play? Like, uh, and growth lingering, so I mean, Fjords of Vigor maybe, but like, Eager to Battle maybe. I don't know. I don't think it would be, uh, too useful, but it's definitely a, uh, possible option. Next is a new creature, Steelwood Champion. It is a Warden. I think that is a new uh, type. Let's uh, check that out. Make sure nothing else is a Warden. Oh, this was also a Warden. Uh, this was uh, part of the last batch. I'm not sure if I actually had that trait in the last batch. Maybe they added that in this latest patch, but yeah. So, Steelwood Champion. Um... It looks like he's epic, like walking across the clouds. Kind of looks like it looks kind of weird. It looks almost like he's like stepping onto like outside of the picture. I don't know if that's just like a weird illusion, but he is inspiring plus one attack, and otherwise he is just a four two three. And we all know that things with three attack and that cost four three health and cost four are rarely played because in Kinfolk Veteran Burn and the mass amount of creatures that have three attack. So. I guess the easy thing to say is he won't be that good because he only has 3 health with the 4 cost and growth has a lot of good 4 cost uh, four cost creatures with 4 health like Brother of the Wolf, um, Shark's Fang Bear, Wetland Ranger, I'm not sure Steelwood Champion is going to make it in. The Inspiring plus 1 attack is good but like I said there's a lot of ways to buff attack and growth so at first thought I don't think he'll be that, uh, that important to growth decks. Um, he does have 4 attack, which is a key number of attack, but I think the 4 health is more important. And the strength of his people, crushing your people. Unfortunately, if he don't get, doesn't get played, it's really, uh, he has a really awesome attack animation. He just like glides across the board. I would, I would just want to make this guy attack. That's so cool. Just him gliding across, across the board, that like across the clouds and slicing. But, uh, yeah. And then the last, uh... The last growth scroll in this batch is Verdant Remnant. It is a totem structure. Um, it has haste, uh, so that means when you play it, it will attack, or yeah, I guess attack. Um, it's not the first structure to have haste, also Vitality Wall has haste, um, and then of course our videos Ragged Wolf and Kinfolk Veteran have haste. So haste is a purely growth thing it seems like, and this one looks like a pretty cool tree. Uh, it is a three countdown tree with four health, and when its countdown reaches zero, you draw one creature scroll. So first thought, I think this is probably a worse Skythorn. 
Skythorn costs one less, and it has Specky one. And uh, you can probably get this, draw the scroll from it at about the same time. Three turns for Verdant Remnant and Skythorn. As a growth play, you're probably going to play like four creatures over three turns. Um, and you draw one scroll with Skythorn. You draw, yeah, and with Skythorn, you could draw like a scroll every turn if you have like Rat Kings and stuff like that. So I don't see how Verdant Remnant is better than Skythorn because also Verdant Remnant, although it has the four health, it's a nice wall. Uh, Skythorn has the spiky. And Skythorn isn't really amazing to begin with, so I don't see Verdant Remnant really being played too much. It's like a slow way of drawing a scroll, which, who knows. I don't know if I like it for four cost. Next is the energy scrolls. First we have Pickaxe Volunteer. This is a purely human vanilla creature. It is a 4-3-3. Three, three. Looks like uh, this, uh, look at those huge pants on this miner. Yeah, so, looks like a... Uh, the unit looks a little uh, like a weak person, but does have four attack, which is a lot. So it can probably take out most things in one hit. Three health is uh, pretty pretty normal for a two cost, if not on the high end. But then the three count down is what really uh, sets it not so good. Um, this is really just a clone of whatever it's called that growth two cost outcast rubble. It's the same exact uh, stats as outcast rubble, and so we can guess if it's going to be played which means it might be played. Like, Outcast Rubble is in some decks. Most decks he's not in it. Uh, like, if you just switch around the attack and health values, then he'd be played. Um, he's the 4 health. But we don't usually see Outcast Rubble be played, so I don't think we're going to see Pickaxe Volunteer being played. But, I mean, more vanilla creatures in the game is just still beneficial for things like Judgment. Uh, just adds the pool of creatures. So I, th I think Pickaxe Volunteer... Probably won't be that uh, played. Also, it's a melee creature in energy, so probably won't see anything with that. Next is Extractor Device. It's an enchantment. You see, like a Boom Reaver with a uh, some kind of drill gun thing to like pull out energy. So you give the creature Pillage, increase energy by one. Uh, I think this is pretty good. Um, we know energy is all about like playing around with your resources. And uh, although energy doesn't have like really that many one countdown creatures, actually, does energy have any one countdown creatures? Uh, CD one. Yeah, they have. Yeah, but you can't put it on Lockling Brood. You wouldn't put. I mean, yeah, this isn't the one countdown I was thinking of. I was thinking of something that's gonna hit an idol every single turn. Yeah, so energy doesn't have kind of that stuff. I um, mean, yeah, they do have Lockling Brood, but you can't put an enchantment on Lockling Brood. So. For the energy, you're probably going to get like an extra resource, like max every other turn, um, which is really valuable. But it would definitely put a huge bounty on that creature's head, and your opponent would probably destroy it pretty quickly. I think it's going to be good, though. Permanent energy is really valuable. And I assume this is permanent energy, but it doesn't say current energy. I guess so, Pillage, if you didn't know, is when you uh, deal damage to an idol. So, like, Hired Smugglers uh, draw scroll effects as a Pillage effect, Gravelock Guards damage effect is a pillage effect extractor device pretty good scroll three costs i mean it might be hard to justify playing extractor device over an energy three cost unit um but in a deck that has to jump up to the high resources it definitely could be a, a a good choice next is melt iron shell uh looks like some kind of dude in some steel welding uh molten factory thing so you uh it's surge and you give the enchanted unit uh attack and health increase by x so i mean surge surge scrolls really don't mean that it costs three to get to get uh any effect out of the scroll you'd have to you'd have to pay four energy um and at that point it would be given a one one buff so one one buff for four energy is obviously terrible so the uses of a scroll like this, you'd have to pay a lot of energy. Like, you have to pay 6 energy, and you get plus 3, plus 3 buff. Uh, but energy goes to really high resources, so I wouldn't be surprised if somebody's sitting at, like, 10 energy. You could just play this, and then you auto you just suddenly have a 7 attack, 7 health buff on a creature. Um, which is amazing on something like a piercing creature, or a relentless creature. So I do think this will be played in like 
decks that go to a lot of energy and then have like guys like piercing and uh piercing and piercing whatever it's called in the relentless but i don't think a uh, mountain iron shell will be too popular in lower cost energy decks uh next on to the order scrolls we have oppressor's rule it's a two cost spell um this knight looks awesome i don't think it's any of the knights currently in the game maybe it is a maybe it's a creature that's going to be coming out uh later in set seven but what it does is units on one side of the row have their move decreased by one until the end of turn any attached enchantments on are destroyed first glance at this, this looks pretty good only two costs you're able to decrease uh your opponent's creatures move by one the whole row like you, you can get it's like a triple almost like a triple binding root basically i mean i guess binding root decreases by two but yeah but it could be used as like a triple binding root and on top of that you destroy enchantments that seems pretty pretty strong um nice utility scroll for order also you don't have to worry about you being on the same row as it basically says, it says on one side of the row uh forgive me if i'm interpreting the scroll wrong but it seems pretty good in its current state um basically you can people like to line their units up you can i get against order people like to line their units up because there's not like manganel really punishes you for clumping up together next to each other lining it up means you can only have like two guys next to each other so press rule can really get some uh value plays um and just blocking up a row for your opponent uh getting rid of enchantments and all that stuff all right moving on to scout we've seen scout before on scrolls.com it's a creature human a two 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 uh when scout comes into play sift three scrolls from your library choose one of them to put on top of your library uh, and this one had the flavor text competition. You know me, General. I'm just full of ruined surprises. Uh, so this, um, oh, we yeah, we do get to see the unit uh, art for this, uh, which we couldn't see before. So it looks like a little small person, a little small like small girl, just stabbing with a little dagger. So. Two 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 for two. Slightly below the below the curve, but then its ability is you can uh like kind of choose what you want to draw next. Not totally true to choose. I think it's gonna be good. Um Yeah. I could definitely see it being played. You can play around with your draws. Um it's still an okay creature to have too on the board. Not much else to say about it, I don't think. Uh, I don't think it will be replacing something like Ducal Infantryman in a order deck, but I can, I can definitely see it replacing that spot currently occupied by Wing Soldier or Wing Spear. Um, because uh, draws in tempo order are really uh, important, so making sure you have the correct next draw can be really necessary. So, she probably will be pretty decent. Next is Favored. A three cost order enchantment uh, you give the creature dom you give the unit dominion and its attack is increased by order and the creature also gets plus two health so the plus two health is just like you're getting the plus two health uh, the dominion um, is so if you play this when an idol is down then the creature gets like could get a massive amount of attack and that is that's really where the power of the scroll lies i mean three costs two health it could be it could help but you're not going to want three costs or two health the fact is when you have an idol destroyed um by the time you get an idol destroyed especially for a like glaking mortar or something you're going to have like you could have like seven eight nine resources play this and then your creature gets seven like eight nine plus attack um, and put that in Arbalestier, Wings Cleaver, a Skirmisher, and you have a massive deadly unit. Um, so I think this will be played, uh, might also be played in like a Tempo Order deck, a low cost 3, so it kind of takes away a turn from playing creature, which Tempo Order kind of needs to constantly play creatures. The, the fact that you can just get a massive attack, um, really quickly, is, is very, very attractive. Okay, so now we're going on to the Decay Scrolls. First we have Deathly Grasp. 
It's a two cost spell. Target creature gets Slayer until end of turn. So pretty, uh, pretty normal here. It's basically, I mean, many of us thought there was going to be an enchantment that gave Slayer, but this is just a spell. I guess they were, uh, Mojang was a little afraid to give permanent Slayer. So you have one turn of Slayer, uh, which basically means you, you're just increasing the attack of your creature um, by like infinity or something, um, but it won't, you won't do any extra idle damage. For two costs, this is fine. Uh, honestly, I don't think it's going to be that good. Decay has lots of stuff to like get more damage in, like poison and stuff. I don't think it needs it. I mean, Slayer is still, still pretty valuable. We'll see if it gets played. I'll have to do some testing. I, I like to point out the unit art for this. Pretty sick. Looks like she's like, she's killing him with her like poisonous fingertips. All right, so next we have Essence Grab, or Garb, Essence Garb, it's an enchantment. Uh, Dominion, plus two attack and plus two health. Enchanted creature gets plus one attack and plus one health. So this is like a similar enchantment using Dominion, just like uh, just like Favored. So you're, when you play this, you're definitely gonna get a plus one, plus one, which is bad for two costs, but it's like usable. Um, but then when you have an idol destroyed, you're getting, uh, does that mean you're gonna get a Actually, I'm kind of confused here. Dominion is plus 2 attack and plus 2 health. So that means it's going to be a plus 3-3 three, three when you have an idol destroyer. Or it's going to be a plus 2-2 two, two when you have an idol destroyer. I'm not sure. I think both of those are going to be definitely good, though. Um, you can compare it to something like Bear Paw. And uh, Bear Paw like, has to increase your countdown to get a 2-2. Two, two. So even if it's not 3-3, three, three, I think it could still be played. I mean, the Dominion is a big factor. Uh, and Decay doesn't have a lot of spots to put in its deck. Um, maybe in a more ag aggressive deck this could be a very important thing, I don't know. Maybe it could work in like a YOLO Decay uh, Undead deck. So yeah, that's Essence Guard for you. I really like the unit on this as well. I like how like Decay has a lot of like purple and like splashes of green. I think that's a really nice uh, really nice look. Like purple and then like bits of green. This one doesn't really have much green, but this is Pack Husk. It's an undead creature. Uh, we got the Infested Husk in the last batch of scrolls. This is another husk. Uh, when Pack Husk is destroyed, draw one scroll. It's a 3-3-4. Three, three, um, looks like he's going on like vacation or something. Uh, yeah, so it continues the theme of undead creatures having three counts on. Just fine, I guess. Uh, they do have Restless Bones. Um, and I think this is pretty good. At a 3 attack and 4 health, it is a... That's pretty normal for 3 cost. I mean, so what you're getting is a usable creature. He will deal damage, he will take hits. Um, at 3 cost, that's what you want out of a creature. Uh, it's a pretty good stats for 3 cost. 3, three, uh, three attack, 4 health, uh, it's usually used for 4 cost, plus an ability. And this ability is pretty good. When pack cost is destroyed, draw 1 scroll, so you're basically guaranteed to get a scroll out of him. So it's almost like a delayed Sister of the Fox, or a delayed Righteous Partisan. Um, and he can deal damage. So I do like Pack Husk, Pack Husk a lot. Almost like a mini Oblivion Seeker. Obviously Oblivion Seeker gives you more scrolls. A Pack Husk has uh, more attack, more health, and is two costs lower than Oblivion Seeker. So, yeah, I definitely like this guy a lot. I think he'll be a, an addition to uh, lots of decks. Uh... He is not a human, so I'm not sure how well he'll do in like creature, like human, watcher, get and decay. Um, but he's not that aggressive, so I'm not sure how well he'll do in like YOLO, undead decay either. Um, but just purely in terms of like power, just looking at him on his own, he seems pretty darn good. So that'll be it for today. Like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and leave a comment below of anything you want to say. I read all the comments. Uh, so again, um, don't expect that many videos lately. Um, but definitely check the channel every once in a while because who knows, maybe I'll get really excited for scrolls and do like a splurge of videos. But uh, yeah, click the links to other videos and I'll see you all next time. Keep on scrolling, scrollgers.